Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is uh, is great. It's wonderful. It's really nice. It's um, beautiful weather. It's been really interesting uh, this year for West Virginia. Uh, very mild winter, all that good stuff. Who, who cares? Let's not talk about the weather. I still got questions to get through, so we're going to get through some of these questions. Um... Jonathan asked if I've played any interesting games lately, digital or analog. I have, I just did, um, in fact, I think tomorrow we'll probably do like a, my thoughts on Breath or Tears of the Kingdom. So I just spent weeks playing Tears of the Kingdom, completed it, um, and I have thoughts, but I don't want to talk about that yet. That's maybe the only thing digital I've been playing. I play word games on my phone. I think we talked about that. Um, uh, Grim Tides I played for a good bit. Uh, it's a neat little um, digital game. Lately, though, um, as far as tabletop games go, we haven't, like, I, we talked about weeks ago, the, the Gen Con thing, whatever. I haven't been playing a lot. Uh, M and I got um, Radlands for Christmas. That's been an interesting game to just pull out and play sometimes. Uh, Azul, she also got me Azul, and we've been playing that, enjoying that. When I say we've been playing it, I mean we played it a couple of times in like February and March, and maybe once in April or something. Like we, we haven't been doing the sit down and play board games a lot lately. Um, the train game, um, been play testing the train game all, a good bit. Um, I think that what I'm calling version three. So version one, I finished last year, last year, maybe the year before, it was last year. Uh, I, I finished it and said, this is done. This is a complete product. Um, it's an interesting game, but it, it suffers in a lot of ways. Uh, then I did a version two, which uh, worked, but it wasn't quite right. And now I'm on what I call version three. It's truthfully like version 75 or something, but uh, it's dramatically different. And, uh, but it, but it retains all the core. And so I think uh, I'm, I'm, I've been working on the graphic design. Um, not that I'm going to publish it. I, I think we talked a couple weeks ago about maybe doing like a small scale release, uh, like a hand assembled, like Chevy puts this together. It'll, <laughs> if I do that, this is going to be one of those situations where I need a couple of you to say, yes, I want one. Um, and yes, I'm willing to spend probably a hundred dollars, maybe Maybe, maybe I can get it done for less, but uh, if I'm going to do a small run of them, I want it to be like the best quality that I can get, um, which means a quad fold traditional board. It means wooden components. It means linen printed cards. It means all of the upgrades that I have to pay extra for through my, you know, the game crafter, the printing service. Uh, it means all of that. And then me hand making the wooden components, and you know it it it's going to be expensive. Uh, just the printed product is, you know, two thirds of that or something. So that's a possibility, and we'll talk about if I decide to do that. At, we'll do a video on the train game shortly. I need to. Um, I need to get together a new printed like I think this is done version and um, make sure it's what I want it to be uh, before I make that decision. But that, so that's been, inter it's been interesting. I, I've actually been very interested in that game lately. Um, for a while there, it felt like it was a chore. I'm actually very interested in, I'm very interested in playing it because I think that it plays very differently depending on setup and cards and whatever. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, oh, yeah, so we, we got beer and bread. Um, I don't know if you know the story about beer and bread. Last year at Gen Con, I took a picture of beer and bread. I interrupted a meeting, uh, and I'm pretty sure that the, the team that I interrupted wrote an article about me being like, don't interrupt people in meetings at conventions. Pretty sure that was the event that inspired that article. Not positive, but I was an ass. Um, ended up taking like a... I said, hey, can I take a picture of this? Uh, Clay, the owner of Capstone Games, said, yeah. So I set it on top, took a picture, done. And um, I said, can I post it? 
I don't, at that point, I didn't think it was announced. He said, yeah. So I posted it on Twitter a couple weeks later, and that tweet blew up. Like, people were, whoa, a Scott Alms two-player you know, capstone, beer and bread themed? Like, what? yes, tell me more. And I'm like, I don't know more. It's a two-player Euro. So Clay sent it to me in, like, February. Uh, I finally played it the week before Memorial Day. <laughs> and it's really good. It's a really good two-player Euro. If you like multi-use cards, for one, each card can be played three different ways. If you like... Uh, resource management, so you have a little resource storage area that can only hold nine things, uh, and you like figuring out systems. The game plays, uh, it's kind of like play a card, pass your hand. Well, it literally is play a card, pass your hand. Um, but you don't do that every round. So there's like, what they have is wet, uh, not wet seasons. Um, plentiful seasons, I think they're called, and then dry seasons. So during a plentiful season, you'll do the play card pass. During the dry seasons, you'll play with what you have left in front of you. Um, and so, it, uh, and the cool twist on this whole thing is, you're, you've got a farm, you have hops and barley and wheat and water, and so there's multiple resources to manage. You, you need to bake bread and you need to make beer. Beer and bread. Duh. Uh, Whichever one you do the least of, that's your final score. So you gotta, you have to do both if you want to score points. Uh, you can't focus. Very, very, very interesting game. It's quick. Um, the first time we played it was maybe 45 minutes. I think you can get it done in like 20 minutes after you know the cards and stuff. The hardest part is determining like... The hardest part... This would be my one... The one thing that I think will take away from this game for some people is because you're doing the pass and play. So I'm looking at my hand, and when you play a card, you can play it for resources. You can say, all right, I want to get wheat. And so you play a card that has a wheat symbol on it, you put it on top of your stack of resources, and you get all the, you know, all the resources shown. So you'll get your wheat or whatever. Um, you'll make that decision because you know, what's in your hand says, I, I, need, I need to bake this bread, and it's got wheat, and I need barley, and I need water. So you'll know, all right, I need those things. What, what you have to remember is you're now going to pass that to your opponent. You're now going to be looking at what was their hand. And you need to remember what was in your old hand so that you can make a good decision with what's in their hand. You need to hope that you get back the cards you want from your old hand. So there's a memory aspect that's not too taxing, I don't think. But it is like if you can do it, you have a, you know, you have a distinct advantage. If you can remember like, all right, between our two hands... There's only one option to get hops. I need to take that if I get it back because these two cards require hops, so I know he's not going to take them or she's not going to take them. It, like, th that memory management is going to be the one ding I give to the game. It's just kind of like... And it's not... Like, I don't know... Now nah, you couldn't play with open hands. I was thinking maybe you could play open-handed, but I would get to see what you're doing. Uh, and which would influence my decision that probably wouldn't work but if, the, if there if there was an easier way to mitigate that memory management thing that that would probably help but uh, it's it's a solid game despite the fact that you have to remember stuff uh, and we've been really enjoying it so I think that's about it game night I went to game night a couple of times in May uh, I don't really know that I have anything memorable that I played there though Rear window was interesting. Not amazing, just kind of okay. Uh, the heck else have I played there? I don't even remember, honestly. That's weird. Yeah. What have you been playing? Anything exciting? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is reflexive. It is an adjective, meaning something that happens through reflex rather than deliberate choice or effort. We don't mean to act imperiously toward the nouveau rich. It's just a reflexive and conditioned response. <laughs> reflexive. R-E-F-L-E-X-I-V-E. -E. That's, that's, that's not uncommon at all. Everybody knows that word, right?